Welcome to me and you outside. So glad you're here. I tell you what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to pick myself some puffball mushrooms. Now puffball mushrooms are kind of a strange thing. They grow in yards. You'll see them in yards. I see them in fields. I see them in the woods. I, sometimes I see them everywhere. And you got to pick them when they come up uh, within a couple of days because if you don't they'll start getting brown and then they'll get really brown and when they're really brown you can step on them and they puff a little smoke thing we used to do that as kids thought that was really cool but once they reach that point you don't want to eat them because they're no good to eat and they're not good for you but now if you eat them when they're good and fresh they are kind of good for you they have a lot of antioxidants in them they have a lot of potassium in them uh, just some healing uh, qualities in the puffball mushrooms you can believe that so i'm going to pick some i'm in the yard here and this is this is what they do. They just grow at random. You gotta look at them. Like I'll look at this real close and make sure this one's ready to go. That's a big one right there. They're real spongy, okay. And if I look inside of this one here, it's just pure white. You can see how white that is. That's good. That's what you want. You want it to be white. It's okay. It's turned just a little bit tan, but that's all right. You just don't want it to turn brown. Got another one here, a smaller one. Uh, he's in good shape. That's in good shape. Another smaller one right here. They grow in clusters all the time just like this. Interesting. They have kind of a earthy smell to them. They don't smell like you can pick it like a, a, a morale mushroom. You can pick a morale mushroom or even a, a, a beefsteak bread mushroom. And they're they, they kind of smell like a mushroom these things kind of have an earthy smell to them it's strange and what i'll do is i'll take these and slice them and i'm going to just kind of saute them cook them with a little bit of a uh, butter maybe some garlic salt um minced garlic something like that and we'll see how they taste it's been years since I've eaten these crazy things, but they are edible. Again, they are good for you. Uh, I've got these here just about the right time. If I'd have waited much longer, uh, they wouldn't be any good. I see a couple of more right down here. Let's go check them out. They look even fresher, maybe. But these are fresh enough, and I've got more than enough to eat, so I'm not trying to get more uh, to find to eat. I really want to find the hen of the woods, but I can't find no hen of the woods yet. Um, I'm not sure they're up. And these are not puffballs. What these are, I am not real sure. Oh, interesting. It's not a pretty mushroom. See that? Wow, that's got a an interesting smell to it. I think that stuff just come off on my face. Nope. But see that right there? That's an interesting looking mushroom. I wish I knew what that was. My brother would know what them are. But I don't know that I'll pick them. I'll never eat a mushroom. I don't know what it is. I'll get a hold of him and ask him what them are and see if they're, they're worth getting. All right. All right, well, I'm going to take these back to the house. Got my little Bass Pro bag right here full of puffball mushrooms. I'll be cooking these. The next thing you'll see us in the kitchen slicing these rascals up, cooking them. I'll give you an honest opinion. Uh, again, it's been years since I've eaten them. I ate them years ago. I can't remember. I know this. If I'd have loved them to death, I'd be picking them all the time. But I, I don't pick them all the time because I obviously didn't just love it to death. But I'm going to try to cook them a little bit different way this time. And maybe this way I'm going to cook it is going to be the way to eat them. We'll find that out here shortly. So stay right there. Won't take but a second for you, but it'll take a few hours for me to get ready to get these cooked up. I don't know if I'll do it today or tomorrow, so it don't matter. But for you, it's just the next frame coming up. So hang right there. We'll see how these puffballs do. In the kitchen with puffball mushrooms. I just picked a bunch of them, as you just seen there in my son's yard. And I brought them home, and they're in different stages of ripeness. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Here you have, this is a puffball mushroom right here, and I cut it already. And if you look at it, it's kind of got a tan look to it compared to this right here. Now what that tells me is I probably am not going to eat this one because it's starting to turn dark. And what that will do, that will turn darker and darker and darker. And all of this is inside, which is real spongy and, and wet. That will turn into a powdery substance. You can step on this and it goes poof. 
thus you have a puff ball. Okay, that's why they're called puff balls. All right. Now, I've got me some pure white meat right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit more. I've got a I've got a mushroom here. It's in good shape. See, it's it's it, it's on the it's on the uh, what I would call maybe on the edge, but it's still good enough. It's not gonna make me sick or anything like that. There's that. I got a little bit more on this one right here. I can get. I wish I had picked these two days sooner. They've been pure white, but they only last about. Once they pop up, they're only good for about three days, two to three days, and they're done. I mean, you're not going to get anything out of them. They are they are done because they will they will turn this brown color, as you can see here, this tan color, and like I said, they get darker and darker, and then all that just turns to powder inside there, and uh, that's where you get the, the name puffball. Now these are very good for you, as I said, as you've seen on the thumbnail. Uh, they're very good with potassium. There's a lot of potassium in these. Uh, puffballs and there's a lot of antioxidants in here too and so it's really good for you now what i'm going to do is simple right here i have put about a tablespoon of butter in my skillet right here and i'm going to add a little bit of garlic but not too much probably uh what i would call a teaspoon just enough to stir around in there real good crank my heat up just a little bit further okay i want this to be pretty hot and i drop it in there and all I'm doing, this is really easy, all I'm doing is I'm taking these puff balls that I have sliced and I'm just dropping in on butter and garlic. Butter and garlic. All right, that's what that is. Butter and garlic. Butter and garlic. Got me a little stir spoon right here. Oh, they look good. They look good. Now, I'll tell you about puff balls. Uh, I, the last time I eat them was years ago. And I wasn't overly impressed at the time. <clears throat> but I talked to a good friend of mine who passes a church in Fair Play, Missouri. He is a mushroom fanatic. I mean, he knows his mushrooms really good. And he called me the day and said he found a bunch of puff balls and he sent me a picture. He was cooking them and sauteing them in butter and garlic. And, um, and he said they were delicious. So we're going to see if they're delicious. We're going to see if this pastor knows what he's talking about. Pastor of Fair Play Assembly of God Church in Fair Play, Missouri. But I'm sure he does. And we're going to find out as soon as this gets good and hot. I'm going to cook these. I'll show you to you. I'll show them to you here in just a minute when they get kind of brown. I'm about to take them out. I'll tell you. I'll show you what I'm looking for as far as the the look. Again, you see the butter bubbling. You see the, the I got um, um, garlic, minced garlic in there. What I'm going to do in just a second. I'm going to flip these over and I'm going to put a little bit of garlic salt, spring a little a, a fuzz of that on the uh, uh, mushrooms themselves. A little bit of garlic salt, but not much. And might just do salt and pepper. I haven't decided yet. My wife's shaking her head. We're going with salt and pepper. We're going to salt and pepper because garlic and minced garlic gives enough garlic flavor, right, Sandy? Okay, good. All right, we'll be right back. The puff balls, the puff balls are ready. All right. Look at this. This is brown. Strange thing about a puff ball, it doesn't lose any of its uh, integrity. It's still, it's still uh, puffy. I mean, it's still just a kind of a smooshy texture to it. And I just got them good and brown. Again, I had a little garlic salt in there, or a little, uh, not, not garlic salt, but minced garlic. I tried to put garlic salt, and my wife said, meh. So I just used a little salt and pepper and a little bit of uh, uh, just salt and pepper and butter. That's it. And by the way, my good friend in Fair Play Assembly of God Church, his name is Lyle Shawless. And I know he's probably watching this video. He better be watching this video because he's the one who got me going on these things. All right, so I'm going to try these right here. They're a little bit hot, so I'm going to let them cool down here just a minute. I'm going to come back, and I want to taste them. My wife's going to taste them too, but I'm not going to put her on camera tonight because if I did, I'd get shot. Uh, but she's still going to taste them, and she'll let us know how they, uh, how they taste. We'll be right back. These are cooled off and ready to eat. Right here they are. See them? Can you see them? Okay. Now, I was just uh, looking at these. They, they kind of has a texture of a, of a very tender marshmallow. It's kind of what the texture is like, a puff ball. And I've got a piece of it right here. I'm going to try it. Now, here we go. A little salt, a little pepper, cooked in butter, and minced garlic. Puff ball. Again, these are good for you. You know what? That's just pretty good. And I'm not just saying that. That is pretty good. 
by the way you don't want to eat these every day of the week I have a friend of mine he's a pastor of a fair play assembly God church his name is Lyle Shawless <laughs> he ate these every day for a week he got gout don't do that he will tell you not to do that but just eating them for a meal once in a while they're perfect for you they're good for you they're not going to give you any kind of gout nothing like that and they're really very this is really good now of course you got the seasoning on there and the minced garlic you taste all that along with the mushroom flavor my wife mm, my wife's gonna try it but she said i could put it on camera so i'm gonna do that okay. you did you know, i got you one forked up there oh here we go this is an honest opinion right here because i guarantee you she don't like it. She'll tell you to jump in the lake. Puffball mushroom. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tastes good. Of course, you've got garlic and butter. I know you can taste all that. But not a lot of butter. So. But if it was a horrible tasting mushroom, that would also come yeah, out too. Yeah, it would come out. So it's yeah. not. Some some people might have an issue with the texture because it's a little bit squishy. Yeah, squishy. That's like like, yeah. like a marshmallow. I like a marshmallow a little well, bit. Well, yeah, but it's just that salt. squishy. Yeah. yeah. So, but it's good. Yeah. You, you like it? Okay. Mm -hmm. I like it. Well, there you have it. That's a true verdict right there. My true verdict is that it's good too. I liked it. I enjoyed that puffball mushroom. Get out and find you some. You got to find them. Remember, they grow in your yard in places like that. You got to get them quick. Get them while they're snow white. Those are the best. You can just slice them and just eat the whole thing. I had to be a little picky on these, but we ate them anyways. They were very good. Thank you for watching this video. I'm glad you watched me and you outside. I just appreciate you being here. Hope you come back to see us because I'm going to have another video. And I'll have another video, friends, and it will be coming right around the corner very soon.